What's up, everybody? We're here with that legendary show, Alice at Free Now Show Out. We're uh, super fans of you. Uh, I just wanted to know, like, are you subscribed to the Happy Hill on the, on the YouTube channel? 100%. I watch it every day. Every day. Every day. And uh, do you check the video description for important details on the technique, Professor Mike, the Happy Pill Project, previous class videos? Yeah, 100%. Hit the like button. Yeah, hey, and you're learning from the best. Yeah, you learn from the best. Professor Mike is the best, right? Yeah, sure. what, uh, what did you learn today in class? You learned anything special we should know? Well, we just, we, we, we're running late. We just got here to roll. Yeah. He, and he found me and we rolled and uh, I'm going to be regretting it tomorrow morning. He's a ferocious beast. Yo, be like Professor Joao, like, share, subscribe. Yeah. I'll give you an example. This guy in the room, when I'm yelling 40 seconds and I'm telling you, you got submit, reverse, pass. I expect you to try to submit him. And he's blocking this up like this. And you're like this. And you're in a side to the end. I'm going, well, dude, you're losing. You're down three points, and we need four. We need some other score. Like, get yeah, press this action. So he blocked me, not letting me up, and his coach is yelling, don't worry, 20 seconds, five seconds, or whatever he's yelling, right? I'm like this. This is on the side. Again. I'm trying to figure out if I can mount. This guy's not giving me anything. I'm just trying to stall me. It also happens in class. And if it doesn't happen in any way, the goal is the game. To me, it's a game. The game is to submit him. Okay, so I'm like this. I'm going to ask you to drop this hand that's on this side and get to control of his wrist. So this hand that's on this side, one critical thing, you can put these down so everybody can see right now. This elbow I'll never let go of, okay? Because later on, I may, if for some reason this pocket opens up, I may decide to come back to mount. Because I could always sit these hips and then slide this leg over and then come to mount. But I don't want to go to mount if I don't know what's happening with this elbow because that's how he knee elbows escape. I'm the guy driving this way. So if I got no control, the moment I land here, he's gonna bridge this away, he's recovering two seconds. So I do want control of that elbow and I wanna be very conscious of what's happening with that elbow. Okay, so my hands are like this. So we're imagining Ethan is blocking me up. He's not letting me get in here and I'm trying my best to score. So I'm asking you to take this hand that's behind his face and grab onto his wrist and bring your knee line high. So these guys are almost connecting together. But I've never let go of this. So as I say, hey, I'll do it side. As I start dropping this knee to his face, he's going to start turning. Okay? You haven't scored anything yet. He just turned this way. Okay? So I'm going to ask you at this point to imagine that like there's this red dot behind here. Because there's a danger right now for him. And we've done a bunch of different combos where we've taken the top arm, either in a Kimura set, shot up to a, 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 an arm bar, a bunch of different things. Okay? But I'm asking you, like, hey, this guy bottled up really tight in here. And I just brought him down from this. I had this, I had this, and I controlled that. So I brought him here, but he didn't give me anything. So I'm going to windshield wiper and drop behind the shoulder. And this is how I am now. Okay? So you start to see, like, I've made this, like, cradle right around him with this knee, with this shin. It's, it's right tight. There's two things I want you to pay attention to on this. You can go high. I'm not opposed to you going high, meaning that this shin's up here. You can go low, okay? But the only problem is, and now in competition set, I'm fine with you going low because the fight is you against the same side unless you're absolute. The problem is if you go low and he outweighs you by 30, 40 pounds, now you're trying to bring him back this way to take his back. Now you got this barrier pretty much underneath the bottom hip line. Not easy to do. Plus, your leg isn't on this side pressing to bring him back. My leg's sitting here right now, okay? So you could pretend it's your, it's your call on it. Only problem is if you slide high, you're going to be late on that insertion down there, and it's easy to bo the bottle up on it, okay? If I bring it high and I pulled Ethan back on this side, all I had to do was clear about four inches of my toe line, okay? But if I slid low and I'm like this, I just drop behind the shoulder line and I'm trying to get a cradle or I'm trying to get my gift wrap, trying to do something. I don't know what yet. If I can get control of his back out on the bottom elbow, because I did own the bottom elbow from the beginning, I'm going to tell you a story and then you pick how you want to play the story because you're going to have to read and react at that point. I don't mind. I'll tell you a version of it. I, don't, I was like this in the very beginning. I had this wrist and I had this elbow and I just dropped behind your shoulder line. I'm fine with you sliding up here and taking these toes and sliding them in here. 
because I don't mind if you leave me. I still have great control of you. That if for some reason you over rotated, I start, go rotate. I'm here right on the back, taking this back side that I can slide in easy down here to get my back control back here. But I'm gonna say no, okay? I'm gonna ask you that you slid up and you curve that line right behind the shoulder and bring your feet in. I'm only telling you, and this, and I, I don't like, in, in a lot of academy, the guy that's gonna stand on the podium at the end, right? Let's say there's 30 people. The guy's gonna stand on the podium is gonna bottle this up. The guy that got admitted, and I'm being honest with it, you know, Cynthia laughs, he's got the mask on, so we heard it this time. <laughs> The guy that got some in, the, he got lost in the first round, he's gonna have his leg open like this and he's gonna try to turn. That thing's wide open. So when you first drop behind the shoulder, this thing's wide open, this is what I have. I'm gonna take this leg and just throw it over. It's gonna be so easy, right? And now when I sit down in here and pull this back, this is gonna be easy four points. But the guy's gonna stand on that podium, isn't gonna let this happen, okay? He's gonna bottle that thing up. And now you're like this. And you're behind the shoulder line going, Oh man, this guy's not giving me anything. So I gotta make a choice at this point. Am I gonna bring him back? This leg's not gonna get in here. It's just not, okay? So I gotta make a choice in how I'm reading, reacting. I know they'll show you like, okay, you just slide your hand in here, okay? Or you put your hand in here, or you go into a giver. I don't know how it's gonna play out. I know one thing at this point, because I'm like this and like this, it's easy for me to grab onto this wrist, okay? And now I'm gonna ask you to start doing things with this. I'm fine with it. Put the leg down for a second. I'm going to ask you at one point, you could do this in different versions. I could fall back early, okay? I could control this one and take this leg and slide it through very easily and pull him back and now secure my points on the other side. I could, potentially, right? I could decide that I'm so tight on this that he's not going anywhere and I'm figuring how I can lace this guy through. And I could do the same thing also, but I can also switch this back. So I can switch this back on a windshield and step over this way to take it. I'm not going to feed you the exact move, okay? I'm going to tell you how I need you to read it. And then you're going to decide, like, okay, I got to go this way, that way. If they tell you, put your shin here, do that, you have no idea what this guy is. And now you get to the last round, and I've been telling you to step over, and this thing's like this. Why would you step over? You have no chance to step over. He's going to put that shin and lift your leg up, and now he's going to recover guard in two seconds. So you just brought him over like this. I told you one thing. I said that you were like this. He was bottled up. You transferred to here. You brought this leg up. I never let go of that bottom shin. He turns. I scissor and drop. I'm going to say for this one, put that leg down for me. I'm going to say that he's not the guy going to stand on the podium at the end, okay? I'm perfectly mirrored back here. I see this opening in the pocket. My first reaction is to take this leg and put it in the middle. If you can drive this leg out, the bottom leg, he will go belly down, right? If I can kick this leg out. So there's a great chance if you put it over, don't leave it in the middle, right? Take the leg out so that you, it, I mean, it's just simple mechanics. If you can push this leg out, the body's gonna keep rotating this way, okay? So if you can, let's do that one and then fall back. When you fall back, Right? I'm going to now tell you what to do. Okay? We're going to go high level up here. Okay? When you fall back, I want you to have a really great focus of isolating this arm right here. So when you brought them up like this, and you're like this, and now I said, okay, this isn't the one that's going to sit down on the podium. Okay? And you took this leg, and now you sit it inside there. Okay? When you start pulling him back, I would prefer not until I control the gift wrap in some manner. So if I can take this hand, like he's not going anywhere, I still have that elbow. I'm going to grab this wrist and I'm going to feed you the move. I'm going to say that, hey, you could do this because if he lets you do this, he's going to let you do this. Okay? So now you have a full gift wrap. When you come back, okay, I'm going to ask you to really exaggerate this. You can go, I know you can do this, okay? I'm not a big fan of going into an arm bar from here, whether you're going to switch this grip. And now you're supposed to turn your head and you're going to go all the, that's a lot of bells and whistles, man. You ain't pulling that thing off. Like, I get it. You know, internet and, be, and Instagram, they'll show that. And yeah, I know, but the guy's sitting there and you're going to make all these transfers. And if you don't make this transfer from here to grab this leg when you fall, it's going to, he's going to come out. It's just not going to happen for you. So I'm going to ask you, this guy right here, to bring the toe lines up so you just clear the four inches. 
So when you slid this up, you're here. So that when I fall back with you at this point, this leg is sitting so high up, there's a great chance that I can take this leg and start isolating this. But if I can't, who cares? If Ethan is bottled up, my leg is so high that I could drop his shoulders to the mat again, clear his head, and now come right back into my arm bar set. I fed you a lot of things with no specific thing. Because in that particular equation, I want you to see a bigger picture. And I'm going to let you, because the competition's in two weeks, I'm going to let you play it any way you want, as long as you bring them to a 45. So you've got an arm bar you can go into. You can come back in that high cradle. Or you could throw this leg in. I'm going to let you play it any way you want. And then we'll feed off of that whatever way you want to play the first couple of, about five, ten minutes, we'll do it. After that, I'll let you play. I'll feed you moves off of that and how the, how the room is playing out. Let's do it. Let's bring it back a second. Okay. So you just, I just told you all these things. You're in a side control pin. You're like this. He's blocked this up. And I'm like, man, I really got to press this action. Right? And it's not a big deal. I will ask you at this point, if you do just understand what's happening, I need these legs as tight in here as possible. Just for the simple reason, I'm not going to attack this arm. I'm, all, I'm focused on you turning, getting behind you, going into knee pinch situation. But I don't need a gap here, right? Because I've decided to come so tight that I do want some barrier that if he does turn, I could always drop and catch this elbow because it's going to be up in the air because at some point it's going to be up in my hip lines. So it's not for me to hold it. It's to grab it on this side. So don't leave any space in here. Stay super tight to him. This doesn't take any pressure. The moment your shin goes on here, what's, it's the neck muscle. It's so weak that to anybody, like, uh, anybody that weighs over 100 pounds, the moment you start dropping, they're going to turn. Can I get behind them? I don't know. But I'm going to ask you at this point that we just flip the grip and keep it simple, okay? You're like this, and I just told you, you just brought this up, and I'm, so, I'm really tight here. It's nothing about, I just want to know that if you decide to come this way, that I can slide this in and grab here. Or if you decide to come this way, I'm perfectly set to spin off the back side and then turn this this way. So I'm really tight to go either way. So I can play the story either way. If for some reason I don't collect the stop that I needed, okay? I took you this way right now. So I'm going to ask you at this point, this is your grips. You had three grips. You had this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? And now he turns this way. And I'm going, okay, I'm holding this grip, but he's not going left or right on me, okay? If for some reason we can take this hand and open up this pocket, but just understand, and we'll cover this next week, that when I open this grip up to slide this hand, I'm exaggerating the grip so everybody can see this opening. I'm going to sit back for a second. When I let go of this elbow and throw this hand through, and if he's a violent turner, then no, he's going to come up because that was the thing holding him at this point. So I'm going to keep it simple because everything in this guy that I described He's not the guy that's going to stand on the podium at the end. He's got, to, he's got a little bit of more learning to do, okay? So you're like this, and now you just came up. And I'm over here super tight, but I don't want to let go of this bottom elbow because I'm squeezing and holding, and I'm perfectly set. For any reason, if for some reason, we put his arms back there, if for any reason I lose this elbow line and he over-rotates, I need you to drop this elbow and spin back. And now you're turning to take this back quadrant. So my elbow line was perfect to drop and spin or to come right back up here and insert and then dominate this sector. So I was perfectly set, but I'm gonna ask you to take the arm this time. When you brought him up like this, and now you're squeezing super tight, I'm gonna ask you to take this grip and hold on because his spacing is so big that I'm gonna be able to lace through. Once I lace through, I need this hand really deep, okay? I don't need a shallow Kimura. I'm not finishing him right now. Okay, so I'm not going from the furthest point of the lever. What I want to do is make sure there's no spacing here. Because once I lace through, what I, last thing I want is this gap right here. And now I'm switching my hand patterns. And what he's going to do, he's going to slide this thing out on me. And I'm going to, damn, I was so close. So this hand right now, when it shoots through on this pocket, I was like this. And when it, sh it shoots through, I'm not, I don't care about holding my hand. I don't care about grabbing my wrist. It's irrelevant. What I care about is this gap here. That's what I care about. I care about being inside the armpit. So once I shoot this guy long, this guy wants to grab onto the wrist, grab onto the wrist. But what did I need this gap for? 
because he's going to yank back so hard the moment I start opening this up. So shoot this thing long, right? Set your position up. I still have long. I could still do all these things this way, but I'm not letting go of that gapping, okay? Because that's his only out at this point. What's the big deal? I couldn't separate the arm and the kimura. I'll flip the legs to a, to, a, to a leg lock position. I couldn't do that. I'll take the back. But I'm not letting it go with that gap. Okay? Because if I do decide to come back this way, I still want control here before I transfer here. Okay? So let's do a couple of reps. You're just switching your elbow grips. And we're saying that, hey, this guy's got a little bit of learning to do. He's not ready to, he's not going to stand on the podium at the, end of the, at the end of the whole tournament. So there's some gapping issues here. There's placement issues here. There's a whole bunch of stuff that he needs corrected at the moment. But let's take it so that we take the submission this time. Let's drop. 